タンタンタダンタダンタダン。It was supposed to be a dark song or something.Because <laughs> yes,、um, upon reading this part of the story, I realized that、um, this chapter. It's not really dark,、um, but it's a bit sad and darker than the rest. So I'm expecting not to be laughing a lot throughout this episode.、Um, but I'll try my best, just so you know. So、um, let's just get、um, right to it. The chapter starts off、um, with Manhattan, where he left us in a previous video. So he just got home after visiting Mrs. Scoy and asking her about cancer, about how to find Marika and Kirian. So he got home, and、uh, upon getting home, he saw his mom's bike, and、uh, he realizes that his mom got back.、Um, he, hasn't told, he hasn't told her yet about cancer, and so he's a bit. Scared to go inside, but he, he goes in and his mom just welcomes him like usual.、Um, and she insists that、uh, no, no, <laughs> every, time, every time I think his name is Noah, but it's actually Nova. Nova and Delilah, which are Manhattan's friends,、um, stay for lunch. So Manhattan goes back upstairs because Nova and Delilah are still sleeping.、Um, so he goes. Back to his room, and、uh, he sees them talking. They, they were clearly talking about him.、Um, and Delilah asks him where he went. He said he went to Mrs. Coy to ask her how to find these people, and then he shows them. I mean, he cannot show much.、Um, <laughs> he explains to them what、um, Mrs. Coy taught him. Um, <laughs> It, it's it's、uh, it, it's a it says it's not shown, but he tells them how it works. <laughs> Thank God he doesn't tell them again, because I think I've mentioned five times out of seven videos、um, how how the council system works and and how to find the the other people.、Um, so yes, then Manhattan goes on a rant about how. Cool. I mean, the constant system is, and how、um, people have a contorted idea of it, but they're just scared because they don't know what's what's in the second world. I mean, <laughs> Manhattan, what do you expect? It's exactly <laughs> like what <laughs> you are the weird one. I mean, good good for you if you don't feel this heaviness. Uh, but but like how how can you expect people not to be afraid of it or not to be angry at the cancer system? But anyway, I, th- I think he was just、um, mad at people who see it,、um, or, or who who actually um, um, hate cancer. I mean, I mean, as in cancer, the people, and not the cancer system. Because hating the cancer system, fair enough.、Um, but he he he, he thinks、uh, you know、um, the cancer themselves they. They're not a fault, which I agree.、Um, but yeah, he, he just sounds like is、um, I don't know. That is just great. Anyway,、um, and then they ask、um, they ask him if if he told his mum yet, and he says no. And、uh, and Delilah says,、uh, if we can do this much, so will she. As in, like if if we can accept.、Uh, I don't know. I don't really understand what、um, Delilah means. Like. <laughs> even and, and, even even if Manhattan's mom doesn't accept it, like what can she do? And why why shouldn't she? Ex- I mean, no one really accepts it. So, Delilah, what are you on about?、Um, anyway, then、uh, they have lunch, and Nova and Delilah leave, and so eventually Manhattan tells his mom about the connection. And there's this long page. Of、uh, Manhattan saying I'm sorry, mom, and his mom saying, "Don't apologize. It's okay. It's not your fault. I love you." Blah blah blah.、Um, and we can finally see some humanity in this family because you know at, at this point even Manhattan,、um, after after the hype, now his adrenaline went down and he's realizing the situation he's in.
um, and what it really means. And so, yeah, they're just, just crying and hugging each other. Um, and there's this, uh, at some point, um, Manhattan's mom says, um, after saying, it's okay, don't worry, I'll be, I'll be there for you. Um, she says, I don't want you to go. And uh, it reminded, it's, it's not as, as painful as the, the scene itself, but it reminded me of the scene of, uh, Attack on Titan. I think it was. If, I think it was at the end of the first episode when um, Eren and Mikasa are getting saved by uh, Hannes and they're leaving Eren's mom. What's her name anyway? Um, Eren's mom behind, um, and she says, "Go save yourselves, uh, live on, and so on." And when she's left alone, that she 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 covers her mouth as in as in. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm almost ashamed of saying this, you know, uh, but she says, don't go, like, don't, don't leave me behind. Um, and I've, I've always really liked that scene because I think it's, it's very realistic, you know, it's very human because even if you, um, if you obviously want your most loved ones to be, to be safe, um, in, in exchange, you know, so to speak, for your life, you know, sacrifice yourself for them, uh, yourself for them. Um, I think at some point it, it dawns on you that you're about to die and you actually don't want to, you, you, want, you want to leave on as well. So I've always found that scene really cruel, obviously. It's brutally, uh, it's brut brutally real, though. So, and, and, and I think it, it gives you, <laughs> it gives you a good... Um, it's 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 a it's a good start for for a scene for a for a series like that. Anyway, um, so it reminded me a bit of that, you know, Manhattan's mom saying, "I I don't want you to go." She she's showing him her weakness, and then at some point, and then Manhattan finally says, "I'm scared." Like, oh my god, Manhattan! It, it took you. <laughs> no, okay, it's fine. It happened in this, the previous evening, but I, I I kept thinking, Manhattan, are you okay? But as in, are you there with your brain or something? Anyway, um, then the scene ends. Uh, no, I mean, they, 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 they calm down. And um, Manhattan uh, confesses. Mrs. Coy told him about uh, cancer. And Leila says, I know. Because uh, she felt guilty about it and came to me a few days later, four years ago. She felt bad she told you all those things without my permission. And then Manhattan, you know, was like... Uh, sorry if I didn't um, come to you uh, before. He, he was just scared to tell her. But then uh, his mom says that uh, he did he did well going to Miteskoy because she knows more about cancer than I do. And I must say, Leila, I disagree. She doesn't know more about cancer than you do. The thing is that Mrs. Koy just knows too much and we don't know why. <laughs> And then um, Manhattan says, thank you, mom. And at this point, Leila doesn't say anything. Like, she, she just hugs him. But I think, I don't know, I, I found it to be a strange reaction. So is Leila hiding something? <laughs> Who knows? Then Manhattan goes back to school on Monday. And Nova and Delilah ask him if, if he told his mom. And he says, yes. He says, uh, I haven't seen a cry in ages. We also talked about what to do now and when I'm going to leave. At this point, Delilah asks him when he's going to leave. And the bell rings and Manhattan is like, oh, the bell rang, let's go. You know, he tries to avoid the question. But Delilah won't have it. So he just, <laughs> he just grabs him. <laughs> you make him turn 180 and he, she's like, when are you leaving, Manhattan? And Manhattan says, I'm leaving the day after tomorrow. Then the scene switches to Marika. Marika and Dorian are going to Marika's family home because in the previous um, chapter, she called her mom saying that she would pass by because she had something to tell them. And Dorian asks Marika if she's nervous because she seems a bit on edge. And Marika just glares at him. And she thinks, it's always the same story. It's her fault I get this nervous and sick every time I go there. And with her, I think she means her mom. I'm not entirely sure. I, I think, I mean, it's it's either her mom or Justina. I, I don't think she means Justina. I, th I think she means her mom. Um, then they get there and um, 
Um, yeah, Justina, she's being a bit bitchy with Marika. She's like, yeah, hi. But then, <laughs> but then she's all over Dorian. Um, so it's clearly a feud between her and Marika, I suppose, um, after the last meeting in which um, Justina asked Marika if she could work with her. And Marika says no. So they arrive at her mom's place and... Um, at this point, I'm, I'm imagining her mom doesn't know about her career. Um, even if she did, um, she would forget about it because I. It's not. It's not really said what problem she, she has, uh, but she has some clear signs of dementia because they're talking. Um, and at some point, she, uh, um, Medica's mom, looks at her and she's and she goes, "Who are you again?" Then uh, Marika and Dorian are in the kitchen talking. And Marika says, I'm not scared to tell my mother. She's going to forget about it anyway. But Justina, and Justina obviously appears. <laughs> because that's how it works. So Justina uh, heard them talking and she's like, um, you scared to tell me what exactly? And then Justina gets mad because she, she, she says, you come, you come to see us only when it's easy for you. There's always uh, a reason you come see us. It's not because you just want to see how we're doing. Um, and she says, do you think we're the only one who's been through shit? No, sorry. <laughs> I do. Sorry. Do you think you're the only one who's been through shit? I managed to find someone to take care of her, her, her mom. But they quit because of their studies and had to quit my job to come back here. And Marika says, that's why I've been sending you money. We don't need your money. You've never been here for us. You've never given a shit about us. You just left with Lou and screwed up everything. We don't need your charity. I don't need your charity. I don't care about your money. All I wanted was to have a sister. But you had your fancy plans and I'm leaving, says Marika. You're always leaving. Um, no, this time I'm leaving for real. And Justine's like, what the fuck does that even mean? Does it mean you'll never come back, be my guest, I can forget about you easily, and you, um, for mom it won't be a problem either. And Marika, Marika is really hurt by this. Um, she, she's really hurt by this. And uh, she says, you don't, you don't really mean that. And when Justina says, oh, <laughs> you bet I do, at this point Marika cannot keep it in anymore. And, uh, and she says, I'm going to the second world. And Justina, is, she's, she's, she, she breaks down, she... She feels she 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 regrets saying all those things, um, and she says that she's sorry. And at this point, um, if you if you were to ask me which of the three main characters of Mia Chance is my least favorite, I would say Manhattan <laughs> because it's fucking boring. I I I remember trying really trying hard to make him into. Not necessarily a likable character, but at least an interesting one. I, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> no, I, th I think eventually, I think he's going to have some, some development in the second world. But for, for the whole first part, I think it's just, he's supposed to be a normal kid, but he does some, some weird shit. So it's kind of hard to read, but not in a good way. Not in, a, in, in an intriguing way. Um... But if you were to ask me which of the three main characters on Mechans is my favorite, I would definitely say Marika. I like I like Marika's character. Um, she not not as a person. I mean, she's not a very good person. Okay, um, because you know she goes <laughs> around killing people, so you're not very <laughs> you're not a very good person by moral standards. Um, but but speaking of morals, she has her own morals. Yeah, she has her own way of. Of, of seeing life and, and I, I, th I think she's the most complex of the three main characters um, that's that's for sure Kirian mm, yes also is uh, it's not bad uh, he's I, I know I, sh I, I really um, <laughs> I said many bad things about him in the previous chapter um, but he's, he's not that bad okay he's just a fucking annoying brat but it's not that bad, um, but Marika is definitely my, my favorite of the three. Even though she, she doesn't make much much sense sometimes either, but generally speaking, she is uh, the best of the three of them. Anyway, um, yes, at this point, uh, again, there's another scene between Marika and, uh, and Justina. And they're like 
no, I'm sorry, the leave. Um, um, at some point, uh, the like, Marika and Justina are hugging each other, and the mom arrives, and she says, as a, uh, she says, I don't know what's happening here, but you remind me, uh, talking to Marika, you remind me of when my daughter Marika would always protect Justina. Do you know Marika? You really look alike. It's not very well well written, but you know I kind of felt the scene because because the situation is clearly complicated and it's those situations in which you can't do much. But um, I don't know, cry I guess. <laughs> um, and then she adds, "She's a good daughter, but she's never home." So at this point, um, it's clear she doesn't know what Marika is up to, or maybe she does, but she forgets from time to time. Um, and then she wants to bring some tea, and Dor Dorian has been <laughs> has been standing there like, oh, what the fuck? What do we do? You know, it's that that embarrassing uh, situation when you are at your friend's house and they start arguing with their parents or something, and you're just sitting there like, mm, what do we do? <laughs> Dorian is like that, um, and then he, off he offers uh, to help uh, Marika's mom to bring some tea, <laughs> and, and the mom says, I always need a hand, if it's a handsome guy who offers it, <laughs> you go mom. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think I have somewhere some drawings of Dorian, I, I, I've also uh, found, it's not that I really found him, I, I've been keeping them um, very well uh, throughout the years. Uh, I have four notebooks filled from beginning to end with notes about mere chance. Like I, I was writing a story on, in, the, in those notebooks, uh, or at least like the, 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 the course of events. Because um, I usually first start off a story um, on paper and then I transfer it on my laptop. Um, so, sometimes I, I work on it only on my laptop, but it's very rare. I, I really like the writing down, um, the physical action of writing. Um, so I have those, those notebooks, and um, there's a lot of text, but there are some um, sketches as well of the characters. Um, and then I think there are some more. But I have, I have mm, not a lot, but I have quite some sketches of the characters. Um, not all of them. Because there, there are a lot of characters in here, I, and most of them are not even um, designed. They were never designed in the first place. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to scan them and show them to you. The, then Marika says this, because uh, uh, Justina asks, Okay, but will you come again to say goodbye? And Marika says nothing. And Justina's like, you, you will come again, right? Um, but Marika says, I thought I'd say goodbye to you today. I'll be busy with work and preparations to leave. What? Well, I mean, okay, preparations to... I, I don't know exactly what you have to prepare, but with work? What the fuck do you care about work? Just say fuck off to Igor and... and just, I, I, I don't get it. But I, again, it's Marika. Uh, she has her own... I don't know, her own way of life. So I guess that's in line with the character. I don't know. Um, and then Justina, she asks this very painful question, but I, I, I get it, you know, because in these situations, you rather hear a lie rather than facing truth, because because it's it's difficult. So Justina asks, "Will you ever come back?" Um, but Marika is merciless. <laughs> and first, she, she doesn't reply, and then she says, "I mean, I don't think I will. Lou hasn't, so I don't see how I should be able to." Uh, and then they hug and they say, I will miss you, and then I will miss you too, and take care of mom, and you find Lou, and Marika says, that's the least I could do. So yes, my f my favorite character so far is Marika, and <laughs> obviously, <laughs> and Roger as well. Roger, Roger can just stand there and, I mean, <laughs> amazing. Roger, wow, um, Oscar for uh, best... <laughs> actor or something <laughs> best manager what, what was Roger's job <laughs> again I don't know <laughs> anyway Roger favorite character and then um, we end with Kirian so Kirian just got back from work he's home alone he's thinking 
his his um his cleaning is he's cleaning his room and he's putting his he's putting his clothes back in a closet and he's just tidying up. He's, he's cleaning his room, okay. And while he does this, is very angry. She, sorry, he he has very angry thoughts. You know, he he keeps thinking um, it's not fair. Um, uh, I've, I've 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 worked so hard to get where I am now. I. It, it, I finally managed to get myself uh, a decent life and all of this for nothing because now I have to leave and I have to leave everything behind. So he's very angry, okay? And he hates the fact that he cannot do anything about it. So at this point, Kirian looks at himself in a mirror. He wears a gloomy expression on his face and he thinks, I am the only one who can control my own fate. <sighs> And <laughs> that's it. So yes, um, this was the chapter in which some feels emerge. We're, we're getting closer to them finding each other. <laughs> they have, but Nathan hasn't left yet. Um, I, I think it's going to take him a couple of one, one maybe two chapters uh, more to leave. But yeah, we, we are... Almost halfway, th no, not almost, okay. <laughs> we are like one one third of the way through the the first part that is set in, this, in the first world. All right, I've really, I've really, I've, I, have, I have a vague idea of what's going to happen next. Mm, but then I, th I think with every chapter, I remember a bit more about the story. But it's always, it's always amazing um, to surprise myself. <laughs> Ciao.